Hi everyone. I want to talk to you today about changes and how God can change you. Um, this time of year, the fall time of the year, you see lots of changes around you. For example, the nights become longer. It used to be that you could go outside and it wasn't dark till about nine o'clock, but now seven o'clock it's dark. Another change is in the evenings you need to put on a sweatshirt because we have cooler nights. And then also, um, as fall continues on, you'll see the leaves changing. They are, were started out as green on the trees and they changed to beautiful yellows, oranges, reds. And of course, we can't forget our pumpkins, how they can change into jack-o'-lanterns with a little bit of help from you. Well, in the Bible, there are many changes that take place also. And a lot of these involve people of the Bible. I would like to just talk about one today, and the one I want to talk about is the change that was made from a man named Saul into Paul. Saul was a man that was not loving of God in the beginning. In fact, he did mean things to people, especially to some of the disciples and followers of Jesus. So God decided, kind of like he was going to teach him a little lesson. And as Saul was on his way to a city called Damascus, he was walking with a couple of friends and all of a sudden, a bright light shone from the heavens or the sky. I kind of think it might have looked like lightning because it was that bright. Well, after that happened, Saul looked up and saw it and thought, what is that? And immediately Saul became blind, he couldn't see. Well, he continued on his way to Damascus with the help of his friends because you can't walk without some help when you've just been blinded by a light. So once he got to Damascus, to Damascus, he was um, starting to change his ways a little bit. And God decided to send a man of faith, a man who worshipped him, whose name was Ananias, to go speak to Saul. So Ananias found Saul one day and he said to him, Brother, I'm going to lay my hands on you because God is going to heal you and I'm going to have the Holy Spirit come into your life so that you can change your ways. Now that's not exactly what God said, but that's kind of the story behind it. God uh, ended up healing Saul from his blindness and the Holy Spirit did change Saul's life. Well, Saul immediately then, after this was probably about three days that he was blinded, but after he was uh, met by Ananias, the uh, messenger from God, Saul was able to see. And Saul was filled with the Holy Spirit. So Saul then changed his life. Instead of being a man who was disrespectful and did mean things to God's disciples, Saul then actually became a disciple of God, and his name was changed to Paul. So I kind of think of Paul as being like a present day missionary. You know how missionaries go into other countries and talk about God and tell everyone the stories of God? Well, that's what Paul became. He became a speaker for God. And in fact, he's one of the greatest missionaries of the Bible. He was one of God's most uh, precious people who went out and talked about him throughout the world. So God made a change in Saul's life to make him become Paul, changed him from good, from I'm sorry, from bad to good, and he can change our lives too. If we're doing some things that aren't real nice, all you need to do is ask God to help you be a better person, and he will change you. Because with everything, God is possible as long as you ask. Could you close your eyes and pray with me today? Dear Lord, as we see all the changes that autumn brings, let's remember that we can change also and be a better person. All we need to do is believe in you and ask for your help. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you the next time.